that with the money sign? That was a uh, money and egg money. <laughs> so egg so money he, was like egg money was, money. He was egg money money for a few months, yeah. And Mott was just Mott. I'm a really big fan of that bit. I just want to so say that on I the mean, record. I mean, Jarvis is so funny, man. Uh, Shadows oh. egg money. And we're chain grabbing. Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm not surprised. It's. I mean, if you're J, if you're J Salt and you know J Mook has the punish that he does. Yeah. You're not taking any chances. You're I'm saying, also. We're just all business. Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. Also. I'm really happy because when she players agree to not chain grab each other, I steam shoots out of my ears, bro. Because they're fucking, they're doing 60 to me like it's nothing. Right. Like they have to. Oh, it's what am I supposed to do besides this? But then they just have this camaraderie with each other. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. No, I, I don't agree. like it one bit. And people, like people again, talk about what good dittos and bad dittos are. Yeah. Yes. People say the chic ditto is really good if you don't do chain grabbing. No, the chic ditto is so bad. That you guys have to agree yeah. to play polite. Yes, yes. Like it is the worst dinner. You're spitting right it's now. You're exactly horrible. right. It is so. This just bullshit. Because it's also, you know, two characters who just CC the hell out of each other. Yeah, that's true, and they can't deal with CC at all. Right. Like, and so you, all their moves are so First weak. person to do anything gets grabbed. Yeah. Um, and you're just trying to change that. Yeah. Like you're trying to be like, let's play it cool, bro. No. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, no, this is really fun if nobody tries to win. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just play Fox like Club, honestly. Yeah, like it's hype as hell. Really? And I feel like developing a secondary Fox for Sheep is not that hard. But anyway, I'm digressing. No, very I, hard I, I think that's fair. I mean, that's just a matchup where you just kind of do stuff at Sheep and she has to deal with it. Yeah, exactly. You can just do Fox things and it's great. And I do, we, it is J Mook is neutral, J Salt is. Uh, J Salt is red, right? Uh, J, J Salt is red, that's yeah. correct. Player two. Um, do you know much about J Salt? Uh, is J-Salt from the South? I believe, like a, like a less populated region, but yes. what I do know from the J-Salt is J-Salt is very notable as a bit of an online warrior over COVID. Yes. Who would really only enter brackets that he had a good chance of winning. I love so if, that. So if you were to go on to like, like Smash Data or whatever, and you look at his win rate, it's something like 85%. <laughs> it's, it is like, it's like you would think he's J Moon. That's the. Like if you just looked at their win rates, yeah, yeah. He, he is the favorite. That's the hanky panky, right? It, yeah, no, honestly. But hanky it's like. Hanky panky just get, farming his local for Kane's money. Yeah, but get that, get that bag. Yeah, well, absolutely. Like and that's the, that's not to say that J Salt is a bad player. J Salt is really good and just like hasn't traveled too much, I think, until recently, you know? Um, yeah, yeah. But but a really, really solid Sheik player, you know? It's, Honestly, there is not really a bad J Sheik. That's true. You know, J Cam, really solid also. Yeah, J Cam's really good. J Flex, really good. Yup. You're going to name another one? Uh, and it's. Uh, no, that was it. That's all of them. <laughs> that's that I mean, You know, uh, Moki Sheik, J Moke, pretty. Oh, J Moke. Yeah, pretty good, too. Pretty good. That's nice. all I got. They're everywhere. They are. They are. They're, they're J Chu, somehow. Not a sheep player. Yeah, but there's sheep energy. Still really good, you could say. Perhaps. I'm, I'm going to be dreaming on it. Mean, it's I, it's got to happen. i got to get some dub on the board. All right, game two on Fountain of Dreams, which I feel like is when you pick Fountain of Dreams against Sheik, you just want to land on the platforms, right? Like yeah, you just want probably. the chain grabbing to stop. Yeah, I think gone. so. I think but it, it doesn't is. work. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you thought you could escape to this platform? It's like it's like all, Jason almost doesn't know that Jay Moose has just monstrous platform tech chasing. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, it's <laughs> just tag the, the down smash. See, like, it's, it's like, what can you do to get away? Yeah. I mean, clean edge guard. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a, such an uphill battle. And, I mean, you know, Jay Mook, he's been having a bit of a rocky year compared to his previous years, but still, like, yeah, true. very much a top 10 player. Jay Mook is such an interesting case because of that. Like, he came onto the scene so hot with his performances last year. Well, his performances the year before, and then really, I think, peaked early last year. But he's so, he does so many things that are so cracked, and then you just don't see elsewhere. Like, he's such an innovative player that it's interesting to me that he's had so much trouble. I don't know. Like, I feel like whenever I see him play in these majors, he's just bringing so many new ideas. And, uh, yeah, I, I feel like that should carry him farther than it does. And so I, I'm really interested in seeing j kind of like surge back to where he was. Yeah, because he, he has a lot to prove. But I, I think also, you got to remember, he is going through something that no other melee player yes. has ever gone through. Absolutely. He's true. already won Genesis. He won Collision. He, is th he has won the biggest things you can win. Yeah. And you just like, got to find motivation. It's and so it's weird. like, he did that in like his, you know, like 
one of his like first major appearances. Yeah. Like he was he's been playing for a long time. Do not get me wrong, he is not a duck yet. Yeah, that's true. But he's been going to locals and upstate but for a long time. In terms of traveling, um, being on the big stage, it took him what a year to win a major, yeah. win the biggest major. So like, if if I'm him, like it's like what what okay, what's my goal now? Am I trying to be number one? Yeah. Like what am I playing for? That's got to be hard to grapple with. You know, and and to go from zero to a hundred, to go from like not going to majors to going to being a full-time professional player, it's like that's a big adjustment. Yeah, he has a lot of mental obstacles he needs to overcome that you know people don't have experience with. Right, it's to like give him advice. Nobody has had that trajectory other than him. That's so totally I, right. I can't imagine how it is like trying to contend with him, but obviously not really hurting the set because he's uh, kind of oh. giving Jay Salt the business. Great match by Jay Salt though. I mean, really, when you're getting chain grabbed this hard, <laughs> mashes are actually so clutch. Oh, True, what else can you do? It's the eye there, too. Yeah, so actually, I do this as Yoshi. I didn't realize it's maybe good as Sheik as well to do slight the eye behind, and then it's the Sheik wants to grab forward right. to be a little faster, but then you can, like, double jump out. I Salt escaped some crucial stuff there, and now it's even. That was actually a great defense. Yeah, this is, I mean, and this is, this is still one grapple game, right? Yeah. So. Uh -oh. Uh oh. Oh, you're getting juggled. Yeah, yeah, Book saying, I do not need that grab sir. Don't worry about it, we still got combos. I don't know if Jay Salt's gonna be able to get back safe from here. Oh. That's, a, that's a great edge guard. Just the, the awareness to, to turn around fair. Yeah, I feel like doing the rising fair, I mean, Jay Book does it as a tech chase. Right. Very few sheeks do. Uh, but it's kind of scary to hit it. It is, but, it, but such a good position there, because even if he hits the Alms attack, you're, you're so yeah. actionable, you're there. And I mean, sheeks, Sheiks are disproportionately good at comps attacks compared to most other men. Yeah, that's true, because they have a thousand years when they land from their up B to just decide what they want to do with their lives. I mean, it is it's like amazing. It, and, and so it comes up a lot, right? So I used to get grumpy when I would be chain grabbed by Sheik. And then I, I sort of really watched her get edge guarded. And I was like, wow, this is horrible. Like getting chain grabbed by Sheik, it's, it's rough. But like being edge guarded as Sheik, I think it's really bad. I appreciate it. I'm still gonna be mad being chained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I <laughs> I'm gonna wrap back around there soon. <laughs> it's just like I'm in my awakening moment. Look, right? you guys are great. <laughs> I, uh, come on, come on, yeah, come on, dude. You really have to do this to me. It's like 10 a.m. pools, taking 50% off one grab. It's like, dude, I just I just wanna play, it, man. Dude, Jay Mook is just running. Just solidly running ahead joint right now. Yeah. Also, Jay Mook. Uh, Y'all might have seen Jay Mook went to the SoCal Star League. I think it was maybe two weekends ago now. Maybe it was just last weekend. I think it was two. I think you're right. And Jay Mook was looking very good the entire uh, the entire tournament. And at the end of the tournament, managed to double eliminate Amsa, who has always been kind of a thorn in his side at brackets. He's won before, but it's been like kind of sketchy game fives, like skin of his teeth. And it looked very, very different. Um, at SoCal Star League, and I don't know. I feel like that tells me something. It tells I think me that like something has changed in JMO. I think that, really that's good well. to see, right? Yeah. It's like I I love to see a JMO who's composed, who's dialed into the game, you know? Because like I, I've seen JMO, you know, in the venue at the majors, four in the morning on Saturday night. Yeah, like I I don't like you know a guy who's like, when he's dialed in, when he's disciplined. I uh, I think he's, he means he's a terrifying player, right? And it uh, looks like he might be back to form. Let's hope. Oh yeah, he's definitely definitely one of the scariest people in this bracket today. Strong chance of taking the whole thing. Yeah, I but mean, Jay Salt has been fighting back. For sure. I don't want to count him out because last game there was a lot of even stock moments. And we had a situation like this last game as well, where Jay Salt was down a stock, and then he really cleaned it up and made it even again. So, right, because because even more than the Fox did before this, like the the Sheik Ditto is really, well, one grab, yeah, a lot. But you can just work your way. Yep, oh, yep. There you Get go. On the that platform five really coming in handy. Ooh, but still takes a few hits. Oh. Okay. Really? I guess just didn't want to mess around that platform. Yeah, the platform was weird, but the F tilt felt so. Uh, it's and just I'll like, oh, see, there you go. Yeah, you call there it. There you go. Beautifully called by right. my co-commentator. What, what can I say? Uh, just giving good advice to the I players do, at home. I do hatefully watch a Sheik Ditto. Yeah. And then they Oms attack and get away with it, and it's like, no, they should die. Yeah, I mean, so much of this is like, like those are the situations that you just have to be prepared for now, because so yeah. many big, the defensive game in Melee has come so far. People are so 
good at not dying? It's 